The tiger is the largest cat on Earth. Most people think there's only one kind of tiger, but there are actually six, and each one is slightly different. From the frozen Russian forest to the steamy Sumatran jungle, every subspecies is fighting for survival against the looming threat of extinction. In the next eight minutes, you'll get the full breakdown. Every tiger, every subspecies, and even some extinct ones. Siberian tigers, also known as Amur tigers, are the largest of all tiger subspecies. Males can grow up to 3.3 meters or over 10 feet in length and weigh more than 300 kilograms or around 660 pounds. Their fur is pale orange with fewer, lighter stripes and it's much thicker than that of tropical tigers. They also have noticeably larger paws than any other tiger. And you know what that means? They are hung like a goddamn h Anyways, the reason for these large paws is simply because it helps them move in deep snow, kind of like built-in snowshoes. They inhabit the cold forests of the Russian Far East, mainly the Sikota Alin mountain range. A few may still survive in northeastern China and possibly North Korea, but Russia is their stronghold. Siberian tigers mainly hunt large animals like red deer and wild boar. They've even been known to take down brown bears. In tougher seasons, they'll scavenge if necessary. Their extra large paws, thick neck ruff, and dense underfur are all tailored for extreme winters. Their reduced stripe count and bulkier build give them a ghost-like presence in snowy forests, silent, camouflaged, and deadly. But they are still classified as endangered Fewer than 500 exist in the wild. Habitat destruction, poaching and prey loss are constant threats to their survival. Bengal tigers are the second largest subspecies. Males can grow up to 3.1 meters long, which is about 10.2 feet, and weigh around 220 kilograms, or roughly 485 pounds. They have a bright, zesty orange coat with bold black stripes and a white underside. Their build is leaner than the Siberians, and their coat is shorter and more vibrant due to the warmer climate. Bengal tigers are found across the Indian subcontinent, mostly in India, but also in Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, and parts of Myanmar. India alone is home to more than half of the world's remaining wild tigers. They hunt a wide variety of prey, including wild boar, chaital deer, and even massive gore. Using dense jungle and tall grass for cover, they ambush their prey with stealth and overwhelming power. Bengal tigers have also been seen clashing with sloth bears, which are basically just larger honey badgers. They're fierce and absolutely feral creatures, surprisingly willing to fight back against much larger tigers. The Bengal tiger is the most well-known of all tiger subspecies and the one most commonly seen in media. It's also the origin of the rare white tiger, an unusual variant caused by a recessive gene found only in Bengals. Despite having the highest population among tiger subspecies, Bengal tigers are still endangered. Habitat destruction, human wildlife conflict, and illegal poaching continue to push their numbers down. Only about 2,500 remain in the wild. Indo-Chinese tigers are smaller and leaner than Bengals or Siberians. Males usually weigh around 150 to 195 kilograms, or about 330 to 430 pounds. And they reach lengths up to 2.8 meters, which is around 9.2 feet. The main feature setting them apart from the rest is that their coats are darker and their stripes are narrower. It can be fairly hard to see on its own, but compared to the zesty Bengal or the fatty Siberian tiger, it's quite noticeable. They live in the dense forests and rugged mountains of Southeast Asia, but their range has shrunk drastically 
Indochinese tigers are extremely elusive. They're rarely seen. And that's not just because of their camouflage. It's because their numbers are dangerously low. And they avoid humans at all costs. With fewer than 350 left in the wild. The Malayan tiger is one of the smallest subspecies. Males average around 120 kilograms or 265 pounds and grow up to 2.4 meters or 7.9 feet in length. With short fur, tightly packed stripes and a lean muscular build, it's perfectly designed for moving through dense jungle. Found only in the tropical forests of the Malay Peninsula, it survives in one of the most rapidly vanishing habitats of any tiger. What sets it apart is how little we know. It wasn't even recognized as its own subspecies until 2004, making it the most recently classified tiger. Today, it's critically endangered, with fewer than 150 left in the wild. The South China tiger is short, stocky, and one of the smallest subspecies, but slightly larger than the Malayan tiger. Males usually weigh around 130 kilograms, or 287 pounds, and reach about 2.5 meters, or just over 8 feet, in length. With pale fur and wide-set, faded stripes, it looks noticeably different. It also has a longer and narrower skull shape than other tigers. They were once found across central and southern China, but without a single confirmed wild sighting in decades, it's deemed functionally extinct, although still kept alive in captivity. The Sumatran tiger is the smallest subspecies. Males weigh around 100 kilograms, or 220 pounds, and reach 2.3 meters, or 7.5 feet in length. Its coat is darker, with thick black stripes and a ruff of fur around the neck that gives it a maned look. It also has a couple of very distinct markings running across its cheeks. Found only on the island of Sumatra, it lives in tropical rainforests. What makes it unique is agility. This tiger climbs, swims, and moves through dense jungle like no other. Its small size helps it vanish in chaos, but it's running out of space. With under 400 left, it's critically endangered. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like. Anyways, see you in the next one.